Tucson's Raytheon Missile Systems is a major contributor to our nation's security and our local economy. The company employs about 10,000 people and pumps about $3 billion into Arizona's economy. Senator John McCain focused on Raytheon's value as he talked with company workers today. Nine on your sides, Craig Smith has more on Raytheon's role in the war on terror. The Tomahawk missile may be Raytheon's best known product. It strikes targets without endangering a pilot or plane. Senator John McCain told Raytheon employees their work can help stop ISIS. We're going to need the kind of capabilities that Raytheon has been so good at for so long. In the war on terror, destroying ground targets is the most likely use for Raytheon weapons. That would include items like the Excalibur guided artillery shell and the TOW anti-tank missile. Raytheon is really not at liberty to talk about how its weapons are used, but this is an example of the sort of thing that would be used in the war on terror. This is called a JSAW. It stands for Joint Standoff Weapon. It's basically a gliding bomb. A plane drops it. These wings swing out, and it is guided into a precision landing on what you want to blow up. But McCain worries budget cuts are starving the military of training and equipment. And I'd like to blame it all on the Democrats. In fact, maybe I will anyway. But. But, but there are there are Republicans that are such deficit hawks that they don't understand. The world has changed since 2011, my dear friends, and 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 we are overtaxing, overemploying, overworking our men and women and the equipment that they use. Raytheon is also cooperating with Israel on missile defense. The Iron Dome system intercepts rockets fired into Israel. Raytheon is also working with Israel on a longer range anti missile system known as David's Sling. Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.